Well, uh, Michigan season is over as of, well, actually, is it, is it two days ago now? Yeah, it was Friday night, and now it's Sunday at, like, two in the morning or something. Um, it's just weird, because it feels like it was just a few hours ago. Um, yeah, uh, Michigan season is over. Uh, you know, I can't even be really, be really that mad. Um, it, it, it wasn't even a thing of we just didn't play hard enough. It was just, we were outmatched. I mean, from the very beginning, Georgia's defense, um, ran down our throat. Uh, we couldn't stop them. Uh, just utter domination. Uh, we had less than a hundred yards rushing. I think, I believe that was the first time we've done that all year. Um, you know, we've had, we had this running game that was so dangerous all year long. And, uh, you know, even in the Iowa game where they have a pretty good, um, uh, defense or rush defense, uh, we were able to run for almost 300 yards against them. And, uh, again, it, this just wasn't going to happen against Georgia from the very start they they we were completely outmatched from the very start they looked better than us and the talent gap is definitely there there's no amount of coaching that you could have done there to to win that game i mean maybe if we would have made some better decisions and made a little bit less mistakes in that game um we would have made it closer but uh i mean in the end none of that would have mattered um Georgia was going to win that was going to win this game. They were destined to win this game. It just was not our night. wasn't our time. Um, we just don't have the talent, man. Um, and that showed. Um, so, I mean, what what can I say when when your defense or when your offense is constantly in trouble? Cade McNamara, whomever's quarterback, is running for his life every play. Uh, the offensive line is collapsing. Uh, defense, uh, the defensive line is coming in so fast. They're just bigger, faster, stronger than our offensive line, unfortunately. And uh, it was very apparent. Um, and, it, you know, it, it's nothing to, to, to be ashamed of. No, no team this year really has been able to do that besides Alabama. And, you know, when, when it comes, when it comes to those two teams, it's just, there's this, there's this talent gap, man. There's a huge talent gap between, um, you know, Alabama and Georgia. And then there's a huge talent gap. I mean, you could just lump Bama and Georgia together, whether you want to say Bama is a lot better or not is, you know, to be determined, I think they're going to win again, but you know, you never know how it is. You you know you don't know how it's going to be in in college football. Georgia is favored in that game. Um but uh when it comes to this year, Alabama and Georgia and then Michigan in a distant third. Um you know, you could even argue Cincinnati, but I I wouldn't go that far. Um yeah, it's it's Alabama, Georgia, Michigan, Cincy, and then like everybody else. It's it's not even it's not even a competition when it comes to that top spot. And once again, the playoffs disappoint. Uh, it seems like every year we have blowouts in the playoffs. Um, very very little do we ever have close games. I think they said before those games on Friday night, we eleven out of the fourteen um, playoff games were blowouts. And well, we had six our sixteenth, fifteenth, and sixteenth um, playoff games in the playoff era, and that means now that thirteen out of the sixteen games were blowouts. Um, Bama winning 27 to 6 and uh, Georgia winning 34 to 11. Just completely outmatched both teams were. You know, you were, I think most college football fans were hoping that Michigan and Cincinnati would win, even if you are like a hater of Michigan. If you're, 
even if you're an Ohio State fan or a Michigan State fan, maybe some of you would, were still rooting against us. But I think for the most part, most college football fans would have rather seen Michigan and Cincinnati or just one of those two teams versus Bama or Georgia or something like that. Um, no one wanted a re this rematch. No, no one wants to see it. I'm definitely not going to watch it. Um, I don't know anybody who wants to watch it. I'll look at the score and probably not be surprised. Who, whoever wins, I'll be like, okay. Um, I just don't really care at this point. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, the season is over. Yeah, I wish it didn't end this way, but again, I can't really be mad. Um, we had a fantastic year. Great, great, fantastic year. Finished the season 12 and 2. Uh, finished the regular season 11 and 1 with a win over Ohio State. A very close loss that we should have won against Michigan State. And wins over all of our other uh, opponents, all of our other rivals, and a win in the Big Ten Championship, Michigan. That is one thing they won't be able to take away from us as we are Big Ten champions from 2021. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, uh, it's, that is that, and no one can take that away from us. Uh, that means more to me. Beating Ohio State and winning a Big Ten Championship means more to me than losing this game against Georgia. I wasn't very, very uh, sure we would win this game, to be honest with you. Um, I was always kind of uh, on it. I was like, well, you know what? They've been proving me wrong all year. You know, I keep going into certain games being like, I don't know about this one. Um, and they proved me wrong. Uh, they proved me right, or they, I mean, they proved me wrong in the Michigan State game. The one time I predicted in a rivalry game this year that we were going to uh, win was that Michigan State game, and we did not win that one. Uh, but the Penn State game, I had us losing. We won that game. You know, Ohio State, obviously, I had them losing um, based off of what I had seen before. I thought maybe we had a chance to make it closer, but again, I was being very optimistic, I felt like, uh, or that was being too generous, but we killed them. We, we dominated and we showed that, uh, when the Big Ten at least, we're not to be messed with, um, at least this year. And then we won, a big, the, won the Big Ten Championship against Iowa. I really didn't think we were going to lose that game. I was like, oh, maybe our... Maybe their defense will give us some trouble, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to run away with it one way or another. And we did. We dominated that game all the way through. Um, but because, yeah, uh, I, I can't be mad with the season ending this way. Um, I can't, or I can't be mad with the season in general, I guess. Uh, go blue. Um, we got next year. You know, we've. Next year, I have a lot to be excited about. I'm very excited for next year. Um, and I, you know what? That's crazy. That makes me happy because I'm not one of those types of people. I'm not, I'm not the, I'm not the one of those Michigan fans that's very excited. I could tell you going into this year, I wasn't very excited. Going into 2020, I wasn't very excited in previous years. In fact, I don't remember the last time I went into a season excited. Um, since Jim Harbaugh started um, in 2015. Then I was excited. I was like, we got this great, brand new coach. He's going to be great for us. He played at Michigan. He's a great co NFL coach. He coached in the Super Bowl for the San Francisco 49ers. I was like, he's going to be great. I was super optimistic at that point. Plus, anything was better than Brady Hoke. We were just getting rid of the disaster that was Brady Hoke. Um, so... I was like that that year I was excited, but that was a long time ago, man. It's 2022 now. Happy New Year, by the way. And uh, yeah, next year for the first time in God seven years, I'm excited for a college football season in Michigan. Um, you know, we return a lot of players, uh, at least on the offense. Uh, we've got you know 
J.J. McCarthy, who hopefully will be the starter next year. As much as I love Cade McNamara and I appreciate everything he's done for us this year, J.J., I hope J.J. wins the starting job. It's his time. Uh, it's his time to lead this team. Um, uh, Blake Corm returning at running back. Donovan Edwards returning at running back as well. I think Donovan Edwards is going to make a huge impact on Michigan this year. Huge, huge, huge impact. Um, same with Blake Corm. I don't want to you know, say he's not going to make an impact. He's definitely going to make an impact. Um, he was great for us this year. Hassan Haskins, I hope he goes to the NFL and is very successful. I think he will be. Um, you know, we're, we're, All these recruits are getting and some of the returning players are getting. We're going to have a great offensive line next year, probably one of the best in the country again. Uh, so I, I'm excited about the offense next year. Again, we return a lot of receivers as well yeah, and tight ends. I, I'm, I'm excited for our offense next year. Defense is only going to get better. I mean, you know how young they were in 2020. They're only getting more, uh, more, uh, what's the word? They're only getting more better. Uh, that secondary has the potential to be really darn good in a couple of years, maybe even this year, uh, upcoming uh, football, the next football season, which is a while from now. But um, they have the potential, man. Uh, and, I mean, I know we're, we have a late schedule in 2022. We really don't play a whole lot of hard games, minus the couple of, you know, the few games we do usually play. But I think the only hard ones I think I can think of off the top of my head Penn State, Michigan State, Ohio State. Um, I don't remember if Wisconsin's on there or not. I'm going to have to look now. Uh, but, yeah, we have a lighter schedule next year. So uh, we do have a potential, again, next year to be back where we are this year. I'm not saying we're going to make the playoffs again next year. I'm not saying we're even going to come close. Um, I'm just saying um, we're not going anywhere. Uh, we're going to be in and around the college football playoffs and in the top five or ten I would say for the next couple of years at least um, and I'm excited to see uh, what this Michigan team can become because as they said as Kate McNamara and as other players on that Michigan team said it's only the beginning uh, for, for Michigan Jim Harbaugh said it himself as well it's only the beginning of this team only going to get better. This is just the start of Michigan football. And you know what? For the first time in years, I believe it. Go blue. It's a terrible way to end the season, but a great season nonetheless. Let's be happy with it, Michigan fans.